Hello ladies and gentlemen, or the rather story time internet. Welcome back to Games After Bedtime. We are playing Paper Mario Color Splash. I don't remember what we did last because it's been a while and apparently I left the Wii on the entire bloody time. So, yay. Good job, Blubber Butter. This can only be horrible, I'm sure. Did you see that symbol on it? Do you remember that from maybe another thing that you did earlier? Oh no! Uh, there was a block that I said I was gonna need, wasn't it? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, you're gonna get that excellent bonus, like, immediately. Like, right away. I might as well kill the other one while I'm here. I mean, don't bring too many other people. Oh, cool, it's just him. That's so easy. So maybe don't jump on him. Really? You don't think I should jump on him? Nope, <laughs> you don't sure? Think you should. I don't think you should. I think it would be a bad idea. I feel like it'd be an excellent idea, though. I think you would hurt your poor little feet. One time I got a nail in my foot. Have we heard that story yet? I don't know. Go ahead and share it. Oh my goodness. So, um, it was in a backyard. And there was a piece of wood, like plywood, in this backyard. And uh, we were with friends. And I was wearing a pair of flip-flops. Actually, they were really, like, one of my favorite pairs of flip-flops. My mom used to, um, we were on a track team. So while we were at track meets, all the moms would sit under this big tent and, like, do whatever. Um, and so a lot of the moms bought hand brought handicrafts so they could... Um, they could make stuff while we were uh, running, or while, you know, their kid wasn't running, you know, so they wouldn't have to pay attention the whole time. There's a door down there. I don't know if you saw that. I did. Well, um, um I thought I did. Well, I saw a door. All right, never mind. I've played this game before, and I'm apparently mistaken. Um, anyway, so my mom started getting, like, this, um... It had, like, fuzz on it, like, frill, kind of. Like, uh, like, fancy yarn. And she crocheted onto flip-flops so that they would be fuzzy flip-flops. And she started making them for, like, all the kids on our team. Like, she was charging people for them and they were buying them. She was giving them as gifts. Like, it was actually a really good thing. Anyway, it was one of my favorite pair of flip-flops because it had these... They were yellow, and it had, like, rainbow-colored, uh, yarn on it. Anyway, so we're walking around in this backyard, and there's this piece of wood, and for some reason, I decide to, like, tightrope along this piece of wood, and apparently there, it was, like, upside down, and there was a nail sticking oh, out of it. I fell. I'm listening, by the way. And so I stepped right onto it. Of course, foam flip-flops. The nail goes right through these foam flip-flops and partially into my foot. Why so, does this exist? So that happened. Huh. Um, How and did then, little you handle that? Um, I cried a little bit and then my dad looked at it and said that the nail wasn't rusty or anything so it probably wasn't a problem and so we didn't even go to the doctor or anything. It didn't like puncture as badly as I'm sure I thought it did at the time. Um, but, oh look at those, uh... Yeah, I know. Smash them down. Probably gonna open up that thing. Oh. Anyway. There's an unfurl block. Oh. This is timed, isn't it? Yep, you have 16 oh. seconds. Well, I don't need to 16 seconds for that. Nope, you gotta hit it with your hammer. I didn't know that. Still have plenty of time. Yay! Um. Useful? Bad. Come back. Or can we, Koopa? Whatever you are. Anyway, that's the story of how I got a nail in my, uh, in my foot one time. I have several things in my foot. All of which you yeah. could have. Yeah, remember that time I dropped a fork in it? That was not a fork. 
It was a fork. No, my brother dropped the fork. You dropped a... No, it was a fork. Keep your language clean, Mr. Bellrutter. No, it was a cleaver. No, it was a fork, Toby. It was not a fork. Yeah, it was like a serving fork, right? No, you did drop that, but that just bounced off and that didn't hurt me. You know, you dropped the you dropped the cleaver and it hit my toe and it bled. Okay. I'm a great cook, you guys. You're just a little klutzy. Oh, why? You didn't give me any opportunity. You! Okay. Ah, Mario, I didn't expect to see you here. I'd love to stick around and sweep the floor with you, but I've got places to be lives to ruin. You know how it is, fresh big wigs. But I suppose I could leave you with a little taste of my Koopa magics. Oh. And now Kami Koopa is coming down into the gamepad. Time for my Koopa magics. And they're changing all of the cards to broken jumps. Like. And we can't flee. So that's awesome. Does that mean the ones that I use have been permanently altered to be? Yeah. So you might want to look at where they are in the lineup. But they weren't. Or not. They apparently weren't in order, so. Okay. That's one of the reasons that I always kept them sorted, just because Kami Koopa can come along and do that anytime. And if you have them in order, you can know which ones are which. Oh, uh, well, good to know, just uh, normal. Ow! Why? Um, okay, um... Anyway, here's another story. Since Those were things, so this is probably safe. Since, uh, we're talking about me being a klutz and a, you know, clumsy person. That's not quite how that happened. Um, yeah, I'm I'm really bad. I hurt myself, you know, all of the freaking time. I'm gonna sneeze. Hang on. <laughs> Bless you. That's gonna be great on the recording. Here comes another. <laughs> well, you aren't sneezing. You're usually just like, God, you! Oh my gosh. He S makes so much fun of me. Zeus, the god of thunder, is coming oh out of my goodness. nose! Stop. <laughs> um. So... Have you ever come across one of these doors yet? No. All right, hit it with your hammer. Watch out if you, you want to make all of the colors line up, but if you get, do it wrong, they'll take away a coin. Oh no, a coin. Yeah, but if you get it wrong a bunch of times, then uh, you'll lose a bunch of coins, says someone from no experience. I have no experience with that whatsoever. Oh, I, I, I believe you. Oh, what? Pick a pipe and get a prize. Mario will always turn when he reaches the sideways pipe. Okay. Alright, so I want this one. Yeah, that wasn't very hard for me either. I don't know why. <laughs> that song, by the way, is from Super Mario Bros. 2. Oh, cool. Anyway, now you can't come back until you've found another... That's okay, I don't need that bad. Start. It was nice, though. Um, okay. So, my birthday was a month ago. A little, like, a month ago tomorrow. And, um, my grandma asked what I wanted for my birthday. And I told her I wanted a kitchen knife, because I've got some kitchen knives that we got when we got married. Did you hurt yourself with that knife? I told you this already. No, you didn't! Um, I did tell you it was going to happen, though, and you didn't believe me. You're like, I'm not that clumsy. clumsy. I'm not that clumsy. Clumsy. All right. Anyway, so I told my grandma I wanted a kitchen knife because we've got some knives that we got when we got married, but none of them were, like, super nice. They were, like, Walmart, cheap, like, $3, $5, whatever knives. And, um, so they don't cut very well, and I feel like I hurt myself more because I don't have a precise, you know, blade to cut with. Anyway, plus a friend of mine has a really good knife and I used it the other day and I was like, oh my goodness, I need one of these. Anyway, so I told my grandma I wanted a knife. And Toby, of course, goes, <laughs> There's an unfurl mark here. Oh. Toby, of course, goes, that's a terrible idea. If you get a good knife, you're going to cut yourself with it. And I was like, whatever. Um... I'm gonna get a good knife and it's gonna help me not to cut myself. So anyway, my grandma gives me this nice this knife. It's super nice. Um it's like a paring knife, but it's like this name brand I've never heard of, and it slices right through things. It's just like I'm sorry, it's just like I like cook. I I enjoy household things. So it it 
It was exciting to me. I realized that a kitchen knife isn't going to be everybody's thing, but it was really exciting to me. Anyway, so I was excited about it. And it's dishwasher safe, so you can put it in the dishwasher. You don't have to hand wash it every freaking time. No, I've been grounded. Um, these enemies say the funniest things sometimes. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. He said, no, I've been grounded. Um, anyway, so I'm rinsing dishes. We have the thing in our kitchen where it's got side-by-side -side sinks and with the little divider in between. And so I rinse things in the right-hand sink because that's where the disposal is. And then I put them in the left-hand sink and then I put them in the dishwasher. So I'm rinsing things. I put them in the left-hand sink and I start loading the dishwasher. Well, all I've got left is like utensils. So I um, just like grab a handful of utensils and go to the dishwasher to put them in. I come back for another handful and I just slice my finger open on this knife. I wasn't even, I wasn't even cutting anything, okay? All I was doing was grabbing stuff so I could put it in the dishwasher. I didn't even cut myself cutting a thing. I just cut myself trying to hold the dang thing. Okay. So I sliced my finger open Oi! on this thing. Of course my hands are wet and dirty because I was washing dishes and, um... Anyway, so, my sister was in the other room, so I called her to come in, and, uh, she brought me a band-aid. I held pressure against it so that it would, um, there's an enemy in that. Yeah, I, I gathered that. Um, anyway, I held pressure against it so that it would slow the bleeding, and I told her when she came in, I was like, do not tell Toby about this. Yeah, but then you just did. I, yep. Yeah. Um... Anyway, but it's a really good knife. It's a great knife. I love it so much. Even if it did slice me open. But, and now it, I know it didn't do anything to you. You did well, it to listen, yourself. Now I have a tiny little scar on my fingertip and I'll always remember. I have scars all over my body. Everybody's got scars all over their body. Oh, I, I have scars from being like just a completely dumb person. Let's see, I have a pretty ugly scar over my arm that I think like people can recognize but that happens because uh, I had some sort of some sort of infection it looked kind of like warts but they just kept growing and growing on my arm oh yeah I remember that and uh, the way to treat it apparently was to use a bunch of liquid nitrogen so they were spraying it on my arm it kind of it kind of hurt a little bit um, and they just froze this thing off so now I have like this pretty ugly scar that's just all over it uh, but I'm fine with that. And then I have one from... Uh, I have two on either side of my arm from when I broke my arm open. Uh, I'm a, I fell out of monkey bars and snapped it backwards. I'll tell the story later. And so they had to put screws in there. So that's a... That's a thing. And yeah. then I have another scar from getting sideswiped by a tree when we were canoeing. And ran into a tree with a whole bunch of spider nests on it that fell <gasps> on our boat. I'll tell more about that story too. You're just gonna ignore that creepy yellow toad that's staring us down? I mean, I was. Ho oh, oh, ho! Well met, Mario. I am the Mountain Sage of Daffodil Peak. Hi. Ah, just playing. <laughs> I'm just a regular old toad. Sorry to get your hopes up. I paid all that money for a permit and then busted my shroom all the way up here for nothing. But on the bright side, I did get to see one of those mini paint star things. And you can't beat the view from up here. Anyway, happy trails. So there is no Mountain Sage. Shenanigans! We've been had! Mario, let's go give the gatekeeper a piece of our mind after we grab the mini paint star, of course. There's two of them, but I guess I'll grab this one. I'm all for grabbing the ultimate first. I like alternate endings. Yeah. It's always been a thing for me. That's another thing that another reason. Well, I, I usually play. I usually grab the main first, but then I come back and get the alternate. No, I'll come back and get the main later. Cause I wanna I wanna do the story as it was intended, and then I also want to See, I, I guess maybe this is just I've played RPGs, so I'm used to just approaching it my own way. But I've yeah. always loved just doing it myself. So um, we should oh we should play Tales. All of Symphonia the purple on rescue channel. toads have gathered at Ruddy Road. Oh yeah, because I got the last of them, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Sweet. Okay, well, this is the end of the video, so we'll go check that out in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. If you did, a like, subscribe would be amazing. Turn off ad block, you jerks. Yes, jerks and ad block. Good night. Good night.